What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released the RC or release candidate version of iOS and iPadOS 17.4 to both registered developers and to public beta testers. Now along with this release, we also got watchOS 10.4 beta 5, macOS Sonoma 14.4 beta 5, tvOS 17.4 beta 5, and also visionOS 1.1 beta 4. Now for older devices, we did also get iOS and iPadOS 16.7.6 RC and iOS and iPadOS 15.8.2 RC. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS 17.4 RC. So you can see the size came in at 6.46 gigabytes on my 15 Pro Max, and that size is only large because we're going from a beta to a final release, which the RC is typically the final release, the same version, same build number that everybody will get in the public next week. So that is why the size is large. If you're coming from 17.3.1, and going to 17.4, you're not going to see a six gigabyte file next week. But anyways, let's look at the new build number for this iOS 17.4 RC. So it's 21E217. And if we go back and check out the modem firmware, that is 1.55.04. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.4 RC? Now I'm going to focus on different features and changes that we did not already cover beforehand. So if you want to see every single new feature and change in iOS 17.4, that will be in my official what's new video which is coming next week when 17.4 releases to the general public so as usual apple released a big log of release notes here for 17.4 and there were a few things in there that were not covered beforehand so the first thing i want to talk about is this one right here where it says music recognition lets you add songs you've identified to your apple music playlists and library as well as apple music classical so if we go into our control center and go to our music recognition toggle right there the shazam one we're going to tap and hold to see our history so these were all the songs that i you know heard and i wanted to know the name of it so we have this one right here that i just did for this test and you can see that now it shows not only apple music which it showed that beforehand but we also have this add to button and now when you tap on that you will have to you know give uh, Shazam access to your Apple Music account, but you can see you can automatically add songs to a specific playlist after you identify them with music recognition, which is pretty cool. And of course, this does also work for Apple Music Classical as well. If you maybe, you know, played a classical song that's available in that application. This update also includes a change to call identification. So it now displays Apple verified business name, logo, and department name when available. There's also some additional context surrounding the change in settings, messages, and then down here near the bottom, we have messages for business. There's some new context around this. So Apple says business updates and messages for business provides trusted information for order status, flight notifications, fraud alerts, or other transactions you opt into. There's also a bug fix for the Find My widget, so it now shows the contact picture, whereas before on 17.3 and 17.3.1, that would be blank like 50 to 60% of the time. There's also a fix for dual SIM users, where the phone number changes from primary to secondary and is visible to a group they have messaged. Now, there's also a change to one of the big changes in the settings. So if you go into your settings on an iPhone 15 or 15 Pro device and go into battery we now have battery health and it shows normal right here before you even go into a section whereas before you would have to click into there to see your maximum capacity now that's not what's new here that was in previous betas of 17.4 what's new is that when you go under battery health and tap on the about battery and warranty section that text is now larger than it was on beta 4 so you can see beta 4 on the left beta 5 on the right so it looks like some formatting changes and also some changes to the font size also the first time i opened up the music application i got this splash screen that says what's new in apple music and it shows monthly replay and listen now is now home so what that's talking about is on the little tab bar down here in the bottom and now says home instead of listen now and that's also across other applications like podcasts 
as well, as you can see down here. There's also new emoji in iOS 17.4, and Apple describes what these are specifically in the release notes, which is pretty interesting. So they say new mushroom, phoenix, lime, broken chain, and shaking heads emoji, along with 18 people and body emoji, and which we've already showed, but these are what the new emoji look like in 17.4. Also mentioned is that Apple podcast transcriptions are also available for accessibility. So you can change the text size, increase contrast, and have voiceover for podcast transcriptions, which if you don't know what that is, if you've not been following the betas, if you go into one of your podcasts, you can see down in the bottom left now on the now playing screen, you have a new lyrics icon, which will open up the transcriptions and it acts just as lyrics do in Apple Music. So it goes along with the voice. So you can see it goes along in real time with the voice of the podcast. You could also tap or you could search the transcript or you could also tap on the top right to go to the three dots and then go to view transcript and you can see the entire thing outlined right here. But unfortunately, Apple did not fix the clunky animation when you tap to search in the podcast. You could see that it has that really clunky, slow animation there. So I'll show you one more time and take a look right here. It kind of drops down. So this might be the new notification center bug that never gets fixed for you know a year. So hopefully Apple fixes that in the next version. Also, I did want to point out that there are no ending indicators of the new iMessage encryption enhancements with 17.4 here in the RC release. They're just all on the back end, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go back and watch my Apple Weekly episode from Saturday. Also, if you go into your settings and into privacy and security, we still have not seen the return of the NFC section that was here in the privacy and security section in beta one. So for some reason that was never added back to iOS 17.4 but we do have pass keys access for web browsers that's new in 17.4 that remained until the final release anyways moving on to the release notes here there's only two new features that have been added to the release notes going from beta 4 to the rc so no bug fixes just some changes here some additions and you can see the first one has to do with siri so it says siri can respond in a combination of english and hindi depending on the primary language you use to interact with Siri. And then there's also a new feature under gestures and reactions for developers. Now, as far as the performance goes here on iOS 17.4, the RC release, it feels great. I mean, I've really had no issues yet. Of course, it's only been about an hour and a half since I installed the software, but still no issues that of note, you know, at least not yet. I will give you guys an update in my Apple Weekly episode on Saturday if anything changes. And same goes with battery life. You guys will have to tell me what I started this video with but it seems like battery life is holding up great here and i really started noticing that with beta 4 so i would assume that ios 17.4 battery life in general will be better than 17.3 and 17.3.1 at least from my experience which i have been using it on my main device as well so i have pretty good experience with 17.4 and it seems to be better now i just realized i forgot to show the geekbench scores here for ios 17.4 rc so you can see 2951 on the single core 7299 on the multi-core so we can see how that compares to the previous build which was a beta 4 and it does have a higher single core but a very slightly lower multi-core score so take these all with a grain of salt it's not really indicative of day-to-day -day usage but it is always interesting to log these all right so now let's talk about what to expect next from apple so next up is going to be the final release of ios 17.4 and i would expect to see that next week most likely on monday march 4th now it could potentially go until tuesday or wednesday but i highly doubt it apple typically releases final versions of software on Mondays. So we should see that on Monday, March 4th, around the same time as usual. Now we could also see the first betas of iOS 17.5 go out next week as well. So Apple typically releases the next versions betas pretty much the day after or that same week of the final release. So we should see 17.5 beta one next week, but it could also be pushed until the week following. You really never know with Apple these days. And I do also want to touch on the other versions that got released today, because if you noticed in the beginning, we only got the RC version for iOS and iPad OS. So watch OS, Mac OS, and tvOS are not on the RC version yet. So that means that either they're going to be released later this week, or they're just going to be released after 
the iOS and iPadOS updates, which I think that's less likely, but it seems like we might be seeing the RC version for watchOS, macOS, and tvOS later this week. I don't necessarily think that this means we're going to get an RC2 for iOS 17.4. I mean, it's not out of the question. It is possible, but I don't think that that is Apple's plan right now. I think they're just going to release those at a later time. Because once again, if you forgot, Apple is, you know, abiding by EU law. They have to have 17.4 out by next week because of the whole sideloading issue. So that's why Apple is in a hurry to release iOS 17.4 and not necessarily watchOS, macOS, or tvOS. So we'll have to wait and see. Of course, make sure to follow me over on X or Twitter for the latest on these software releases. But anyways, that is iOS 17.4, the RC version. Make sure to stay tuned for my final release video that's coming next week when 17.4 is released to the general public. But if you guys enjoy this video, as always, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.